So today we're going to be upgrading some of the components for our solar powered system. We've been living with this system for six and a half years. This battery is going on about four years, starting to see some performance issues. Um, it's a 12 volt marine deep cycle lead acid battery. Originally it had 78 amp hours. And if you remember amp hours times voltage gives you watt hours. So that's a total of 936 watt hours. But again, you can only use half of that capacity in a lead acid battery, giving us 468 watt hours that was usable. We're gonna be upgrading to the Renogy lithium iron phosphate 50 amp hour battery, which will give us 600 watt hours. And that's an improvement of about 132 watt hours. So we're excited about that upgrade. We're also gonna be upgrading the charge controller because this one isn't compatible with lithium batteries. Uh, this is the Wanderer. It also has a um, component which will connect to Bluetooth so we can see all the charging and performance of our system right from our smartphone. And we won't need to use this old display that we had when we started this system. So the second phase of this video is going to be the installation, so stick around. So the first thing I did was unplug the solar panel. That way, there's no voltage coming into the charge controller. We don't have to worry about that. Um, the next thing I did was, so I simply just connect, disconnected the wires going from the charge controller to the battery. And then I uh, loosened up the terminals on the battery. Taking those off. Being very careful to remove those. Now there's no voltage going to the inverter, and the battery is ready. This one is a heavy mug. The battery's ready to come out. All right, so welcome back. We're in the final stages of our component upgrade. Um, what you can see here is I've got everything uh, installed on the wall, charge controller, uh, the Bluetooth module, and the battery is in place, and I snugged it back up because it's taking a lot less space than the previous battery. I connected the wires from the charge controller directly to the battery and this wire here is what's going out to the inverter which is in the cabinet above the kitchen. The battery indicator is illuminated so it knows that the battery is there and that it's got a charge. I also was able to toggle through um, using this gray button to select the blue light means that it is connected to a lithium battery and we're good to go there. We've also established a link with the Bluetooth module and we're already getting information on the battery. So the last thing to do is to connect the wires from the PV panel and I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to have to do some little gymnastics here. Get under the... No project is complete without a little bit of groaning. So all I'm doing is snugging up the wire and I don't want to tighten too much. You just want to give it snug so it's not going to come out as you're rolling down the road. Give those a test wiggle. Everything feels snug and in place. Now the last thing to do will be to reconnect uh, the, the, the panels outside and then this light should come on. So the last thing which was con reconnecting the solar panel, uh, we, re we did that and it is indicating here on the PV panel indicator a slow flash combined with the full green battery indicator means that it's charging normally. We're getting the right information from the Bluetooth connection, the battery seems to be connected correctly, and the inverter is operating normally. So, Operation Solar Upgrade complete. You can check everything out about us on freedominacan.com. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.